Hi, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are the Candid Book Club. My name is Oma. This is Mimi, Tanya, Jess, and Linda. And today we thought we would do the newbie booktube tag. So I know that we've been on YouTube for a little while now, um, but we thought what better way for you to get to know us than doing the newbie tag. Um, I thought there were some cool questions on there, so we thought we'd give it a go. Um, the first question is, why did you start the channel? So we've actually been together as a book club since 2016. Um, so me, Linda and Jess, we actually went to uni together. We did our undergrad and masters together. And Tanya, and people are always a bit shocked about this. Me and Tanya are actually sisters. She's my <laughs> youngest, younger sister. I was going to say youngest, but um, she's the only one after me. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, me and Tanya are sisters. So that's how we're sort of connected. Um, and then Mimi was not the outsider, but you're the only one who kind of knew Linda. Um, <laughs> And Linda kind of put us together in a WhatsApp group because we would just all love to read books. And we thought, like, why don't we take this online? So we've been doing um, our Candid Book Club on Instagram since 2016. And then we moved to, like, TikTok in the last couple of years. And that was really fun. And we do, like, fun little videos, short little snappy things. And then we thought, why don't we come to YouTube? Because I thought it'd be a good way to show our personalities, um, show more of us just sort of chatting because we do lots of events especially at like waterstones piccadilly in london and those are always like really great really dynamic they're with the author but i thought we have such a good vibe just us lot because we're such good friends and i think we've connected over books and then that's just sort of translated into all other parts of our lives and like our weddings and things like that so um we just thought it'd be nice to have us on youtube and like be part of the youtube community um, so I think that's probably yeah. why we joined, right? Yeah, I think so. Agreed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I think it's been really fun. I really enjoy, like. I really look forward to these link ups with the girls because before it used to be a brunch thing where we always just going for brunch and like catching up on life, and then now we get to do it like together. On I miss brunch. Camera. Though. I, I do. do. Miss I miss brunch. Yeah. Let's sort yeah. out a brunch. I know. <laughs> but these are always really fun. So we enjoy like just meeting up and talking about all things books really so um the next question is what unique thing can you bring to you booktube so linda what do you think we bring to booktube i think the fact that there are five of us is definitely unique i haven't seen many quintet <laughs> uh, quintets talking about books on here and i think that's the thing that people love listening uh, to what kind of book club are saying because they're we're not just diverse in terms of like where we're from and our backgrounds, but we read diversely as well. Mm -hmm. We've got wildly differing opinions. Mm -hmm. We might talk about a book for days. One person might hate it. The other person might love it. The other person might be middle of the road and you're going to get all of that from us. We do not hold back. And I think the other reason that like we're on booktube and the thing that we can show you is that people love listening to us talk, especially when we're doing our book events yeah when we are at waterstones piccadilly or other places people love hearing that discussion and they're like why is that discussion and that not online so here we go <laughs> so you get to hear five differing opinions about some interesting topics so hopefully you enjoy it um so the next question is what are you most excited about about booktube so jess why don't you take that one Global domination, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not. not. <laughs> I think in all honesty, what we're so excited about is that we get to share our ethos and the fact that we want more people to be involved in reading. Um, and we get to do that on a much bigger scale now with YouTube. You know, we can reach every corner of the world, every country, anybody that has access to YouTube. We can share what we love and what we love about reading and our real opinions with so many people and bring so many more of you guys into the candid book club we have our events like we said in in london and you know we got so many people that come to those and really enjoy being a part of the community and so we're really excited about sharing that community on a much more bigger scale so yeah i think that's where we're at right yeah <laughs> um i think that's pretty much it isn't it it's just me like not meeting directly, but just reaching a, a whole new audience and like connecting with like different booktubers as well, because they have like a very different, it's like very different to Instagram's uh, bookstagram. Mm. So I think that's quite nice, like seeing more opinions and stuff on booktube, that's quite fun. So the next question is, 
Um, why do you love reading? So I'm going to give that one to Tanya. Tanya, why do you love reading? Well, I like reading because it's a form of escapism. I first, I think we got into reading when through my older sister, she used to work in WH Smith, so she used to come back with books <laughs> and we all used to be in a line. Um, but yeah, just a great form of escapism because um, life is a bit pants sometimes as, <laughs> as we yes, like to say. Um, but yeah, I think that's what it is for me. Yeah, and I think it's just like, you, you can learn so much. So we de generally tend to stick to fiction just because it's just what we enjoy. It's not that we rule out non-fiction, but we just gravitate naturally to fiction. And I just think that with fiction, like you can still learn so much, even though it's not real. But a lot of times it's like, especially when it's like a, from different countries, that whether we're um, reading about books from like Vietnam or Sudan or Palestine or wherever it is in the world, like it's still a sense of truth that comes from it. So you're still learning and it's just so nice to read. Um, so I think that's our main ethos as well to just, as you said, Jess, to just get more people reading again and um, yeah, just bring our love of books to the world. So the next question is, what got you into reading? So that's you, Mimi. Um, kind of, I think, just by there not being much else to do when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I don't know, I think my parents have always said you would just be entertained by having your nose in a book. Like, you know, in Tesco, big Tesco, when you go with the big trolley and there's two seats there, I would get a book and Michael, my brother, would get a bell pepper to like munch on. <laughs> so he'd be munching and I'd be reading. I don't know why. That dynamic's that still there today. Yeah, pretty much. You can still entertain him with a bell pepper and you can still entertain me with a book, so it's fine. <laughs> I think, so I think it's just like, you know, when we were kids, we didn't really have Disney, well, we didn't have Disney Channel, we didn't have Sky, we didn't yeah. have all those long form TV programs. By the time I got home from school, CBBC was done. So there was nothing to watch on TV that was like appropriate for a kid. Mm. So I think I just got shoved into books and mm. I'm really grateful for it. Like my mom and dad, bless them, they used to get us these like subscriptions to Disney books or like, you know, Bible story books and we would just sit there and read them as kids yeah. and mum would read every single night to us Aww. like that is like standard my dad I think was a bit of a bookworm as well so maybe I'm a bit lucky that it was a bit inherited um but it's just the best medium I don't know about you guys but when I put on tv or movies at home I'm doing movies at home I'm doing other stuff yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm doing the dishwasher I'm sorting out laundry yeah. I'm thinking about plans I've got that week I'm not really concentrating it takes quite a lot to grip me mm. into tv or into a movie Whereas a book, I have no other option. Yeah. I am there, I am listening, I am watching, I am engaged. And I think, you know, the discussions we have as a book club are just brilliant. And that's yeah. one of the best bits about reading is then coming to you guys being like, this one was terrible or this one was really, really good. Yeah. Um, so I think that's kind of why I got into it, but also why I stayed in it for so long. Yeah. It's just yeah. like this community that you get. Yeah, it's true. And I think um, for a lot of people who come to our events as well, it's like, they have been able to just find like-minded souls that they just get along with. And you know that at the very least you can talk about books yeah. and that would just lead on to so much more. Yeah. And I love the little community that we've built and yeah. I just hope that we can extend it like through BookTube basically. It's also, I think something really important to say is that as Linda alluded to, we disagree quite a lot, yeah. but it's not aggy, it's not aggressive, it's not like, can you imagine if we were like starting fights over books, that'd be intense. <laughs> did not want to fight you once. Oh, oh I didn't want to fight you once, <laughs> but it's all love. But that's, and I feel like it's, I don't want to, I don't want to make like a social commentary point, but there is a social commentary point, which is, I think we've forgotten how to disagree. And mm. I think books are a really nice platform to disagree because it's not personal. Mm. I, you know, you have this opinion on that. I have that opinion on that. Characters, aren't, they're not real people. It's fine. Mm. And I think, there's a really lovely like space that booktube can now inhabit to take that like let's let's remember how to disagree let's remember how to debate stuff and not have the same opinion and that remember that that's okay yeah. like that is something so special that i think booktube, booktube can do yeah definitely so the next question is what challenges do you think you'll face on booktube and i think the fact that we are a five and us getting together as a five to film is probably our biggest challenge. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Diaries. everyone's got their own. Yeah, like. Um, I live in a completely different city now. I yeah. The logistics a bit more difficult. But you, you have, know, Jess. Yeah. We, I'm going to blame it all on you. <laughs> <laughs> 
but yeah just like getting us together to film because you know we can't really do this without the five of us because I think us five together is what makes it really special because mm -hmm. like we just vibe off of each other really well and we genuinely get along as like friends and people so I think that's probably our biggest yeah, challenge probably. But also I think we want to bring you guys something that you you may not have considered on booktube I'm not saying that we're going to reinvent the wheel every single time but we want to give you some book recommendations that you may not have come across because we do read diversely because we are diverse. Yeah. Um, so I think the challenge is not trying to like read what everyone else is reading. Not yeah. to, we're not trying to be too different. We're just trying to be authentic and read what we read and then bring it to you. But also trying to educate you, give you, <laughs> give you something that you may not have considered. Yeah, yeah. nice. And I think another challenge is to probably find a community within BookTube True. because we are newbies to the game, and um, we need yeah. you to make us feel welcome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Say nice saying. things. Say nice things. Like, don't be mean. We're pretty really established on Instagram. Yeah, I think most of our following come from there. We're we're okay on TikTok, but yeah, we'd really like to meet you guys because we can see what the other booktubers are doing and like it does seem like quite a dynamic yeah. crowd and the people like listening to what everyone has to say. So if you're, if you're into it, can you like, like subscribe, dude? <laughs> <laughs> tell, us, tell us where you're from, tell us who you are, tell us if you're vibing with any of the things you're saying and you want to join our crew because you're yeah. more than welcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, so the next question is, uh, where do you read? So Tanya, where do you read? Um, <laughs> where do I read? I uh, mainly read on my journey to work. Um, I love long train journeys, long bus journeys. I can't read on planes. I don't know what it is. I don't enjoy reading on planes. At home, I find it a bit more difficult, but I don't know what it is. I think it's like the sound of the bus and the train tracks, which I find quite <laughs> soothing. And then reading just, yeah, I like reading on public transport. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I mostly read in bed. It's normally a, my part of my wind down routine. I think I'm trying to really take reduce my screen time. So you know, yeah, you know, that book has been really helpful for me. I think and helping me get some good sleep. How do you read, Linda? <laughs> do you know what? I don't really commute that much anymore because I work remotely. But when I do, I have to have a book in my bag. No. I've been in some very awkward situations where. I haven't put a book in my bag. I'm like, I don't like this person. I wish I had the some form of just entertainment. <laughs> so yeah, that that's a big, massive red flag. Like I, that that I've learned from. That I have to have a book in my bag when yeah. I'm commuting, which is rare. But also, I've had to try and compartmentalise like my life at home because I am at home so much. Mm. It's hard when you work from home and then you're like, let me read, and then there's like noise in the house and like TV on. So. I'm getting better at reading in front of the TV Ooh, when someone nice. else is watching the TV. That's oh. quite good because otherwise I'm working in my room, I'm reading in my room, I'm sleeping in my room. Yeah. It's, just, it's a bit, yeah. Oh, man. Like, it's a bit antisocial. Yeah. So basically the answer is I read wherever I can. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. Actually, I did a work trip last year and I remember having my book and taking it down to breakfast in the hotel yeah. because I was just like, don't really want to talk to these scientists anymore. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to say, read my book for a little bit and mm. have some me time. So I'll I tell you where I struggle, though. I love reading. I love the concept of reading on the beach and reading on the pool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And, no, and you know what? I'm pretty good at it. But you know sometimes when you just cannot get, when it's really hot, yeah. you, know, you just can't get in a comfortable position. But then you, I will still try. Then you take the book into the pool. And just sit on the edge. I've not done that. I do that, I've done that. all I don't want to the time. Yeah, that's I've, my I've thing. ruined books hack. like that. No, no, no. Hack, 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 hack. It's fine. God. You just stay. You take a towel next to you. Yeah. So you, when you get your hands wet, you've got a towel next to you to dry your hands. And you sit, like legs dangled in, like that. You've got, like, I've got like 14 rolls, like the Michelin man, but I don't really care. <laughs> so it's fine. You know, everyone can see that. I don't care. I'm reading my book. It sucks to be you. So, <laughs> so, you your feet so I'm feet in, sat on the I edge. Thought like I thought you meant like that. Oh, I do that too. I do that too, but it's precarious, especially if you're on holiday with family who and have no respect yeah, yeah. and just think they're going to jump over you, not looking at anyone in particular, <laughs> and try and wet the book. Oh, wow. It's Why drama. Michael? It's drama. <laughs> it's not just Michael, it's all of them. I'm looking at you. <laughs> they all try and wet the book. I'm like, but I haven't done You can wet the book after I've done a picture for a book club. And they're like, take a picture then so we can wet the book. Ha ha ha. Does anyone read in the loop? I, I, I do sometimes. To. When I was kid. <laughs> yeah. Confession. We used to take. We used to get told off, but yeah, we used to like same. hide the book in like our trousers <laughs> and then go. 
I don't think yeah. I've ever done it. I just feel like I need to be focused on the task. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I and I'll get bored. Bored. I'll get Yeah, but needles. before, um, if I didn't have a book in the toilet, then I'd be reading like the shampoo bowl <laughs> and the ingredients. Wow. Yeah. Nice. yeah. And then obviously, like, I, I have, don't have a butt anymore, so <laughs> this is my surgery. So I really miss reading on the toilet. Like, Aww. yeah, I try to sit there, but it's not the same when you're just doing a number one. Yeah. It's not, it's too you don't have, Yeah, so it's really like... There is a picture the of me as a four-year-old where my parents took a picture of me reading a magazine on the loo. They were like, Aww. this kid is just like <laughs> broken. So yeah. So the answer to the question is, anywhere. anywhere. Have, you guys, have you guys read In the Bath? Yes. 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 I love reading Can I just In the say, Bath. bath shelves are the greatest invention of humankind. Yeah. I've not read the bath. Don't use a shelf. Well, but get a bath shelf. Like, like, but doesn't the away. water get cold, guys? Like, That's where yeah, you top up. You've got to top up. Oh, until the water goes cold, and then because I'll read a bit, and then once it starts to go cold and I'm ready to have my wash wash, then I dash the book <laughs> yeah. out of the bath, and then I have That's wash. That's long. I feel like you need a whole... Because you yeah, know, but you need, otherwise... to, you need to start the bath really scalding hot. Yeah. Like, yeah. really hot. Because otherwise, I get bored when I'm having a bath. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you're just sat there in the too. water. What you're are you doing? You sit for too long, though. But then what's the point? It's a waste of a bathtub of water. How have we managed to go so long for <laughs> then? This is a waste Let's of... keep it moving, guys. <laughs> so, guys, just to let you know, because we're booktube newbies, <laughs> you can see that the conversation goes off piss. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, we like to chat about all sorts if, of... If you share enough comments and likes, though, and you want a whole separate video on how to read in the bath, <laughs> I'll do it. But you've got to show you that. No, 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 not demonstrating. Not demonstrating. <laughs> Oh, nice chaos. Um, so I think this question is kind of for everybody collectively. It's the last question, and it's like, what kind of books would you like to read? So I think this is where we all kind of differ. We all have like our own So I guess this is like our introduction into like what we like to read. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I realise that I like to read a lot of contemporary fiction. It's just like what's new, up and coming. Um, I haven't really read many classics. I love romance as well. I'll dabble in a bit of YA. I do enjoy a bit of YA. Um, I've started to branch out a little bit more with like Linda's recommendations because she loves like a Middle Eastern, you know, or Caribbean, African, African mm -hmm. all across the world, uh, all how across about the continent. Just so first. <laughs> 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 so first. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I get a lot of my recommendations from like Linda actually. Um, I tend to like a lot of what Linda likes. Wow. So yeah, that's what... I'm really winning, man. <laughs> I'm really winning. So those are like my sort of picks. What about you, Mimi? What do you like to read? Well, I love historical fiction. I haven't actually read much recently. No, I need you to haven't. pick up some more because there's not been like loads of the really, really good contemporary stuff at the moment. Um, I'm trying to read a lot more Palestinian fiction. Mm. That is definitely a priority for me this year because the wrecks that Linda, again, always shares are really, really good. Yeah. Um, so I need to do more of that. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it. But I definitely want to pick up some more. Like, I'm hoping there's going to be a new wave you, of like good historical a, fiction. Like you read, I yeah, I was going to say you read a fair bit of um, non-fiction as well. I actually. do read a lot of non-fiction. I like so there's specific non-fiction that I really like, and I normally like to listen to it rather than physically read it. Um, so Mo Gaudat's books I've loved recently, really, really good. I love sports memoirs. Yeah, so, you know, we're picking up some of those uh, female yeah. athletes in particular. Like there've been some really good books. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah so those kinds of things but I tend as I say I tend to like to listen to them rather than to physically read them yeah. um so yeah and then that's pretty much it yeah. maybe that's what I need to do I think I don't read I haven't read I don't think I remember reading any non-fiction last year maybe you did did I you read a few memoirs didn't you read in one month this or I, that this year yeah. that was this year okay so yeah, I don't think yeah, just yeah I, need to, I need to up my non-fiction game I think so if anybody has any recommendations that I'm the same know. actually non-fiction Palestinian reads. Yeah. I need to venture out of what I normally read. And Which is what? What do you normally read? That's the question. No, the, no, question, the question is, what, what would you, you like to read? Oh, <laughs> to my bad. I think as well, like, one thing that we've, come, we've mentioned, like, amongst us is that, like, we don't really read much fantasy. Yes. yes. Or, that or kind thriller. Of yeah, but I'm not going to fall it. But I think that's, like, fine, because I just don't think it's in our lane. It's yeah. not something that we would enjoy, yeah. however. If you have one that you think we're going to lie. Do you know what? Open people have really recommended Babel. Is that how you say it? Yeah, but you read that one, didn't you? Guess? I haven't. No. No. I don't think anyone's read it. I've got it. But it's like, um, yeah. It's like yeah. yeah. But I think, um, I think <laughs> Hildy 
Oh, Hilda, who comes to our book club, she recommended it and she kind of gave me a brief little introduction about what it was and it did sound really good. The people who've read it have raved on yeah. Yes, I think that's so, probably so. something that I but might... Is it fantasy? I think so. Yeah, I think it, I think it comes so, under that yeah, genre. Okay. So that's why I was surprised. She did fantasy and then she did Yellowface, which is very contemporary. Yeah. Fiction. I think she is. She, her, I think she's done another book. Hobby Wars. Wars. That's Hobby fantasy. Yes, Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Oh. So I think the stuff that I'd like to read... Um, I'd like to read a little bit more non-fiction. I do like non-fiction. I do like memoirs, but like I won't read more. My to read pile is guys self control. Out of control. Out of control. Like I'm gonna be kicked out <laughs> <laughs> if I don't if I don't like control that. So I want a book buying ban. I haven't read. I haven't bought any books since January the third. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. How, so you're just going to get us to buy them for you <laughs> and then I lend them to you? <laughs> yeah, but that's because you've never been on a book buying ban. <laughs> I know what's going to happen I here. I've got so many books. So I want to I wanna read more memoirs. Yeah. Mm. I am going to continue reading the kind of stuff that I do, but I just want to read more of it. Yeah. yeah. I do want to dabble more in some classics that we yeah. mentioned. Like just some of the ones that I feel like I should read. Just to be able to hold a conversation and say, yes. Have you read, uh, you know, Leo Tolstoy's blah, 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 blah. No one's read it. Or, and anyone know, who says they are a liar. Simone de Beauvoir. Yeah, Simone de Beauvoir. Like, you know, oh, oh God, how shit. Can I just ask, are you going to start speaking like that if you read those books? Listen, yeah, I went to a private school. <laughs> if you need me to code switch, <laughs> it can be done. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so that's that. So, yeah, let's see, let's see why I actually yeah. ended up publishing. Yeah. yeah. That was our newbie booktube tag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do give us a like and subscribe and let us know how we did. And hopefully we'll see you at the next video. Bye.